Okay, so hi, hello guys. So for today, I will teach you how to find your personal meeting ID in Voob Meeting. So this personal meeting ID, you can use this for all your classes, and this will be unchangeable. So meaning to say, you don't have to, you don't have to change it from time to time, and uh, you have your own personal meeting room, and you can also invite students in this uh, in this personal room or personal classroom. So in order to to find that meeting ID or personal meeting ID, you click your name here. Of course you open the Woof app first and then you click this one your name the label of your name then you can find here uh, this button personal meeting room so click that one and then it will sh show up another screen so this screen will let you see the informations of your personal classroom or this will be your private classroom so you can also invite students here and this is very okay because you don't have to create new classroom every day or every week since this is permanent i guess and you don't have to change or send a new link to your student in the future so i'm using this right now and because it's very convenient and it's a hassle free for me since i don't have to send and create a classroom every day or weekly so this is your information uh, your classroom i mean your personal meeting id you see this one all right so that is my personal meeting id so you you also have that one guys so you can also send the qr code so to let your students scan it to enter in the classroom so for in here you can also copy the link and send it to your student and then uh, you can also edit your profile you can change your name there then copy the personal id okay and also you see that here guys you have the option there to change something uh, or the settings in your personal id so if you click that meeting settings um, it will show you the security here the things that uh, that uh, your that your personal meeting will be having okay so for example meeting password so for me guys i don't usually check this meeting password because it's hard for your student to input to input the meeting password and it will be a hassle for you as well to change the to send the password okay so it will be okay if uh, you uncheck that one okay so that the student don't have to input the password every time they enter in your classroom so for me i usually click enable waiting room um i use this one because uh, um so that my next student can wait there in the waiting room while having while, while I'm having classes with the with my present student right now. So let's say for example I have student at seven thirty, and it's almost eight eight p.m. now. So there might be a chance or a possibility that the next student will pop up in your meeting room while having class with your present student or your seven thirty student. So it will be better if you will. Um, provide uh, a waiting room for them so that they can wait there while you're having class with your present student okay but it's up to you guys if you want if you only have one student a day then you don't have to use enable waiting room but for me i use uh, i check this one since i have um i have many students a day all right so and in here so just click this one and that's all then click save and uh okay so that is your personal meeting id guys all right you can send it to your student and you don't have to change that one day by day so okay so the question is teacher how am i able to enter in the classroom okay and uh, how am i able to to enter and see my student and start having classes so that is the question guys so as you see if you make meetings here there are available meetings that is showing up there right in this in this portion of this window so guys if you use your personal personal meeting room every time you open the booth app you have to click your name again and then personal meeting room and you can see this one the enter meeting button that will be the button that you are going to click if you want to enter in the classroom so the booth will show up another window that can let you have class with your student all right so this this is how to win another meeting so i guess this one is very convenient so i suggest you guys you use your personal meeting classroom so that you don't have to 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 make daily classrooms or more classrooms in your booth meeting okay so it's the same so i hope this tutorial really helps you okay and have a great day guys have a nice day bye bye